JKQ Gamer here. Let me just adjust my headphones so that I can actually, so that you guys can actually hear me. Okay, it's JKQ Gamer here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a game somewhat like fish food. Okay, so uh, I have my desktop and everything, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, your Google Chrome or whatever you have. Just wait for it to load. Um, okay. Don't need that. I just need a new tab. That's all I need. I already have it like um, there, but I'm gonna go to uh, www. Scratch. And it should be this one, it's scratch.mit.edu. So you're gonna go to that one. And I'm gonna full screen this. So as you can see we have a full selection of like whatever. And um, so we wanna make a game like fish food. I, if you saw in fish food you can move um, right and left easily, up and down easily, you know, if you touch something, you can just like, just, you know, it take away, or give you points, so I'm going to show you how to do that, so you go to create, but you got to have, like, a sign-in thing, it's really easy, uh, yeah, it's really easy, so you just sign in to your account, or you join Scratch, uh, and then you go to create, okay? Uh, and this video might be a bit long, so please don't blame me. Okay, so if you want this to be your character, then go ahead, but um, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so the first thing, the first thing we always want to do is have a title screen. Unless your game starts exactly like when the green flag is clicked. So, what we're gonna do, Caden is right. Wait a second, no. Actually, that's not what we're going to do. We are going to go to whatever thing you want. But for now, I'm going to go to... I'm to the underwater one. And I know in my game it wasn't exactly in that order. But it doesn't matter. So, um, yes, I have my TV on, so if you can hear that, then, so. So basically, you just you just keep that, and then paint this right, paint this right, please. Okay, it's not laggy. Uh, okay. So we're gonna name it F. Yes. Thank you for interrupting me in the middle of a tutorial. Thanks a lot. Fish. Let's just call it that for now. Let's just call it that. Uh, and then you gotta put whoever made by, so I'm just gonna put made by. And just type it in random letters, you bring it over here. Made by, I, I, this is really, yeah. I don't know what that is. There we go. And now, what we do, so we have the title, we have the title here, so now, what we need, now what we need is the start button and the fish, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the black. Or we're gonna go wherever you want. You can do square, you can do circle, I don't know. I don't really know what you wanna do, but I'm gonna do it like this. We're gonna go to the start screen or start thing, whatever. Because 
so we have this so when the green when the green flag is clicked um why am I putting attack? Now I should put it I'm just putting random things because I'm not making any We're just gonna put fish food shark attack. Okay, now with all of these, either have to do when green flag is clicked, show or hide. So that when the green flag is clicked, it will either show or it will hide so it won't get in the way of this. Because if I have everything like not showing when the green flag is clicked, this won't show or this won't show. Or that. So, um, yeah, uh, attack, okay, now we have to do when, whatever sprite is, when the attack sprite is clicked, we have to broadcast something, and I'll show you why later, okay, so broadcast, attack, Okay, and then we're gonna do attack. Do, 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 do. Okay, now we're now the way I did it is I created a variable called game. Okay, so set game to one. So this is pretty much like a true false thing. So set game to zero since it's not gonna be. A game on. I don't know why my mouse is doing that. But okay. So we do game to one. Okay. And then we're going to do hide. Now we did broadcast attack because now we have to do when I receive attack, we're going to hide. Okay. So now we're going to make our character. So you can just make any character you want. I am going to put. A shark because that's basically what this is gotta go to animals a shark dude the fi there are the three fish I used um where is it there we go so there are three different kinds of sharks that you can use I'm gonna use this one like this so I'm gonna go when I receive or when green flag clicked hide um when I receive attack show okay and now if we want bubble sounds we're gonna do that but I'm not gonna do that um hmm what's next I forgot uh we have to do oh yeah we have to do the moving things so this is gonna be part one like the moving of it the title screen and the moving so you have to do three of these if you want if you wanted to go just side to side then you could do that but I'm gonna go side side up and down okay so here we go I'm gonna move 10 steps oh wait forever if move 10 steps we're gonna do the same thing actually no not yet so now we're gonna do if not that if right arrow is clicked move 10 steps so that's basically gonna do that just the whole way so we gotta do the same thing only got to make the left arrow 
and negative 10 steps. Now we can't just do the same thing for this, because if we went up, if we went up, um, sorry that was my mom, uh, if we went up and it moved 10 steps, it would go this way. Or if we moved down and it moved negative 10 steps, it would go this way, so you'd be basically doing nothing with these except for doing this, so, as you can see, this work. oh yeah, you gotta redo this for some reason, I don't know why. Now you can do like a back or forth thing, back and forth thing, because right now it just looks like he's swimming backwards, which is kind of weird. So, the way I did this was I basically made two shark costumes, one, sw one going this way, and do -do 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 -do. so now we gotta do switch to costume. Shark 2, Shark A. So now, when we do that, it will make it so that he switches over to the other side. Now the last thing that we need to do is the up, like the up thing. So now, you could do the same thing, but doing this, you, you could literally just do this, or you could do, uh, where is it, you could just do this, just put it, put it here, right arrow, and then it will do the same thing, only it won't be as quick, and it will wait a second, with... That, that's the only problem for me, is that it stops. When we're doing this, you can constantly do it without it stopping. So you can just do this all day. So, now we're going to duplicate this, but we're going to take this out. Okay. We're going to do, if up arrow is pressed, um, where is it? Up arrows press. Do, 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 oh yeah, change y by ten. We're gonna do the same thing, only down arrow negative ten. Uh, down arrow negative ten. There we go. And now if we just redo this, shark food attack. Shark fish food. Shark attack, oh yeah, it already automatically does that. Uh, if we go into full screen, and you can take away this if you want, but now we have a up and up and down going shark. Uh, next time I will probably do like the fish and stuff that are falling down, um, and ha the different points that you can get, but that will be for another video, so... If you guys liked this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Well, okay, I did, I did my old intro, outro. Bye, see ya.